Hello, welcome to Microfiche Microphone. I'm Micah, and on this channel we look at microfiche from the past, old newspaper articles in the public domain, we look at them with our modern eyes, our modern perspective, and see what we can learn from them. On this Microfiche Time Capsule, we are looking at the Ladies Home Journal from May 1901. So this article is entitled, The Foremost Women Photographers of America. This one's relatively short, um, the subtitle says, A Series of Beautiful Photographs Showing What American Women Have Done with the Camera, edited by Frances Benjamin Johnston. So first, the work of Mrs. Gertrude Kazebier. Don't be too surprised by the pronunciation. That is the correct pronunciation. I also speak German, just as you know. Um, I thought this would be fun just because how many of us know any famous photographers. I, I can think of Ansel Adams, you know, there's maybe like a small handful of famous photographers out there, but I feel like photographers is one of those groups of people that don't get enough attention. So let's take a look at Mrs. Gertrude Kazebier. Mrs. Gertrude Kazebier has probably done more than any other American woman to lift pictorial photography to the higher plane of fine art. She is something more than an artist. She is the traditional genius of an infinite capacity of taking pains, an enthusiast with limitless patience, a trained hand and eye, keen intelligence, quick sympathy, and a passionate delight in beauty, not only of form and line, but also of color. Gifted with this temperament and with an inherent love of the beautiful which has colored her whole life, Mrs. Kazebier's success is in no sense accidental, but the logical result of ceaseless effort and patient training. When, after years as an art student, both in America and abroad, Mrs. Kazebier felt her powers maturing, she chose, with deep and careful purpose, photography instead of the brush or pencil as a medium of artistic expression. It is therefore not only its beauty and conception and execution, but also its dignity and purpose, which makes her work at once the inspiration and despair of the growing army of pictorial photographers, while the wide range and versatility of her work are perhaps its most remarkable qualities. Mrs. Kazebia reaches her greatest height in her portrayals of the tender grace of motherhood, which become imaginative creations full of deep and sincere feeling. So I really like that. And I do notice that many of that, I mean, they only put four um, photographs up but they are all of a mother with a child, yeah? Although there's one in the middle that's just a woman, so um, without a child, so I don't know if she is a mother, maybe she is, maybe she's not, it's hard to say, but. Um, recall that at the time, most photography was very staged because it took an exposure of something like 30 seconds in order to capture an image. And considering today it's like a fraction of a second, that's a huge difference in the technology of the time. So I am surprised that her photographs are so clear considering they have children in them. Um, now, to be fair, the children in the pictures, most of them are in poses that are also staged, you know. But I like that she like encourages people to sit a little more naturally or to stand more naturally as if they were doing something. Um, since that wasn't really possible with the technology of the time, I'm impressed that she was able to capture that feeling, even if it wasn't really true or else it would be more bl blurry. Well, that, um, that first picture of a woman holding a small child, I think would probably have been the most difficult to get of the photos because the woman standing in profile yeah she probably stood still um, the child standing stock still with their arms on their sides and not smiling that tells me that 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 child was posed that way the mother trying to act like she's talking to the child or maybe going in to kiss the child's forehead or something um, it's it makes it look a little more natural and less staged I do appreciate that. And then there's the child doing something with their hands. It's so dark, it's hard to tell, really. I'll see if I can lighten that up, or maybe I'll see if I can find, like, the same photo, maybe a better quality. Um, but if not, then this one's going to have to do, and it's very dark. But they are sitting down and looking at something in their lap. So 
you know, that could be staged and encouraging them to sit still. But the one with the mother holding the child up, I find it very unlikely that that child was sitting still. Unless it's one of those death photos that the child's actually dead, um, which would be a little morbid, but um, I'm not sure if that's something that this woman did. So just to fact check ourselves, let's look her up. Gertrude Kazebier. Oh yeah, she's apparently pretty well known. All right, let's see if I can find an English speaking like article. There we go, okay. Gertrude Kazebier, née Stanton. So she was originally Stanton. Was born 18th of May, 1852, and lived until October 12th, 1934. Was an American photographer. She was known for her images of motherhood, her portraits of Native Americans, and her promotion of photography as a career for women. I like that. So she was a little bit of a groundbreaker, yeah? So early life. Well, they didn't really talk about her life, yeah? So maybe let's just look at her photography. So I'm not going to go into her life just because it wasn't mentioned in the article anyway. But um, I think that her actual photographs will probably speak more. Apparently she really loved the Sioux. She took a lot of very nice portraits of Native Americans. I like that. Um, it says the height of her career was from 1898 to 1909, and so this article was written kind of at the beginning of the height of her career. So um, I think that's cool. Good for her. So well done, Gertrude. Um, what I like most about this so far is that it was very difficult for women to find any kind of work. Like, there were, there were just so few options. But it never ceases to amaze me how creative women were at the time. Like, photography was in its infancy in 1901. It just wasn't something that most people knew anything about. And yet she found a job, you know, a career as a photographer. Well, I'll bet she didn't get paid for it for the first several years. But I am really, really love that she actually made a go of it and made it work. So good for her. Well done, Gertrude Kazebier. I'm impressed. I think that she, as a, a pioneer for women in the future, I think that she is a good role model in that sense. Although I have not read about her life, so that is with a slight disclaimer. Anyway, I thought you might enjoy that, so go ahead and look her up, Gertrude Kazebier, and uh, see what you like uh, about what you think about her work. And if you, I hope you enjoyed this microfiche time capsule. If you did, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in the next video.